Hey, hey friends, it's Tyler from Rehab to Fab Designs. I am a content creator for Dixie Bell Paint Company, and I'm gonna take you through my most recent walk through Hobby Lobby, where I went down the aisle looking at spring decor. As you can see here, they have lots of really cute items, a lot of stuff to decorate your porch, a lot of door hangers. We've got spring stuff, we've got gnomes, we've got flowers, we've got welcome signs, so many things to choose from. And you know what that means, you can't buy just one. These are the two I chose, the Hello Spring sign and the Boots with the Flowers. And of course, I'm gonna start with it because it's just adorable. For this project, I decided to paint it using Chalk Mineral Paint by Dixie Bell Paint Company. This paint requires little to no prep, so it's perfect for this kind of project. These cutouts from Hobby Lobby were purchased in mass amounts, and I imagine they were done by a CNC machine that makes precise cuts using a laser. Because of that, the cuts are usually really smooth. However, if you wanna make sure you don't have any splintered edges, it's a good idea to go over it with a little bit of 220 grit sandpaper just to smoothen it out and make sure it's nice and soft so you don't get any splinters. For my boots, I wanted this to be in bright, cheery spring colors because that's the whole purpose of adding spring decor to our porch is we want to bring out the color that is associated with spring and get past all those dry, cold, wintry months where we don't have gorgeous flowers blooming. So because of that, I picked these colors. I painted the majority of the boot in haint blue, which is a pretty pastel light blue color. For the individual flowers, I chose aubergine, which is a deep dark purple, flamingo, which is this pretty corally orange color you see here, plum crazy, which is just that, this gorgeous plum color, and I accented it all with a color called mermaid tail. I used tiny artist brushes for this project to try to keep my lines nice and straight and clean. However, for the lines here that you see on this flower, I used what's known as a dental pick. You can pick these up on Amazon or at a Harbor Freight store, and it's basically a vinyl picking tool, and I have these laying around from my vinyl days, and I just kind of used it to rock back and forth to create a straight line. Next again, I used small brushes to do the other details on the piece for the flower, as well as the trim on the boot here to outline it. I use the mermaid tail for it as well, just so it will pop against that light haint blue. Sometimes it's hard to keep a steady hand when painting smaller pieces like this. However, if you have good brushes, it will help a lot with that so that you can keep a nice straight line. I also used rebel yellow and tree frog green for the flowers. And remember those cute little flowers that were at the beginning of the video? Well, I bought those as well because I thought, how cute would these be if I put a little bit of hot glue on the back of them and glued them onto my boots so it looked like they were 3D instead of such a flat 2D object. Now I'm getting a little 3D dimension to add to it to give it added interest. So I simply popped on a little bit of hot glue on the back of each of these flowers and then pressed them in place all over the boots. A couple of the flowers had petals that had broken off during packaging and shipping as you can see here, but that wasn't really a big deal to me because I knew I could simply glue them on in place as well, and that's exactly what I did. So I spread them out, putting larger ones in some areas and smaller ones in others to try to alternate it, and then for the broken pieces, I simply applied a little bit of glue to the back of the broken piece and attached it as well. Here's my super cute rain boots full of spring flowers. What do you guys think? I think they turned out super cute. Next up, we're gonna paint that Hello Spring sign. That way we have two signs to decorate the porch. For this one, I laid on a base coat of cotton all over the piece, mostly down in between the letters and the background because I wanted that to be my base. Next up, I came in with a color called Savannah Mist which is a lighter bluish gray color, also in the Chalk Mineral line by Dixie Bell. And once again, we're gonna be using some of our smaller artist brush so that we can make sure we can get down in all these little crevices. I decided I wanted this piece to be a little bit more neutral and not so loud in color, so I chose the cotton, Savannah Mist, and then I come back with Stormy Seas in just a moment. So I used the Savannah Mist to apply it all around the exterior or the higher raised area around the outside of this and also on the floral area that you see in the little B as well. And then for the letters, we're gonna do those in a different color. Mm -hmm. 
Being patient is key here because if not, you'll find that you'll end up getting paint where you don't want it. Um, it's also kind of hard to do while you're recording with one hand and painting with the other because it tends to block your view. So try to be patient, try to be slow and paint neatly here because the less mistakes you make here, the less cleanup you're gonna have to do later. Also, can we just talk about how gorgeous this color is? I love Savannah Mist. It is like the perfect colored neutral. It's neutral enough to go with any of your home decor, um, and it's also got just a hint of color so that it can brighten up the room and give you a color in an otherwise dull room. And it blends beautifully with Stormy Seas. So if you're a blending kind of gal or guy, then Stormy Seas and Savannah Mist are two colors that you definitely want to combine in a blend because you're going to love the outcome. They go perfectly together. All right, guys, that's it. I won't keep you too long because I know these can get super boring and we have limited time attention spans. But here it is. Once I finished it up, so I did a total of two coats of each color to make sure I had great coverage. So I didn't have any kind of issues with that raw natural wood that I did not need to prime. So here it is. Once I hung it up and got some cute pictures of it. Tell me what you all think of the color combo. I think it's great. It's neutral enough to go with any home, but also just that right amount of color. Thanks for watching, guys. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our channel.